You can get this and start your business today with me for $99. It can change your life, seriously, as it has changed mine. The financial opportunity that this company can offer you can be life-changing, truthfully, depending on how much you want to work the business. Hi guys, it's Isabella here and welcome back to the channel. So today's video, we are going to be doing a deep dive on an MLM that is called the Bomb Party. Yeah, I know. It doesn't sound very fun, but we're diving into it. So anyways, if you guys don't know, I really love diving into other newer MLMs or other MLMs that haven't been talked about as much. I think it's really important because the more we talk about other MLMs also, the more information that we can spread, the more people that can be protected and actually know the real truth about multi-level marketing companies. And this is going to be my video showing you what the hell is up with this MLM, why I think you should avoid it and all the information that you need to know if you are considering joining this company. So before we hop into today's video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel and click the bell button down below. My vlog channel, merch, podcast, and absolutely everything else is in the description below and let's get into it. So with this, again, I want to make it really clear. I do have timestamps and little chapters in this video. So that way, if there's a specific part that you want to learn about, you can go there or refer back to it if you were trying to share this with someone who is interested in joining the company. Again, a multi-level marketing company, MLM, Bomb Party is an MLM. So let's look at their story real quickly because I want to talk about what this MLM is about. So it says, what started with two sisters has grown into a sisterhood and some really great men. We love big, work hard, and live to spoil because that's what you do for family. It's the common thread in our culture and it's never going to change. Little luxuries are our love language. Our jewelry is beautiful and beautifully affordable. It's a little luxury every woman desires and deserves. And she doesn't have to wait for a special occasion to get it. We indulge her with fresh designs and a fine jewelry aesthetic wrapped up in fizzy fun without the high price tag. So pretty much what they're trying to do is they have this fizz thing with it, which I've seen other like actual bath bombs do, is they have the bath bomb and they stick some jewelry in it, which this isn't a very new concept, but you can find something inside of that bath bomb and then it could be worth something. So I think they run with the concept of you have a chance of buying a product that could actually be really, really expensive. You could actually accidentally get a ring that's just like worth a thousand dollars or something like that. So that's like the fun of it, which I think, okay, fascinating. But I'm going to be honest, this was in no way necessary necessary to be used in an MLM format. This could have been just a regular business, but I've seen with a lot of MLMs is they see the lucrative possibilities of the business opportunity, not actually selling the products. Because if you have a traditional business, you have to actually pay for marketing and actually pay for maybe marketing managers, ads, and everything else under the sun. Whereas with this, the marketing funds that you have to pay are not as high with an MLM because you pretty much are having people that are independent contractors calling or labeling themselves business owners, and then they are doing the marketing for you. And the big problem with that though is most people are not even getting paid for their marketing or any of their work to begin with. Majority of people in MLMs do not make any money or if anything lose money. Now that's the biggest thing is at least at least if an MLM didn't work out for you and you didn't make any money there wouldn't be a loss but that's what we see most of the time with companies is there is a heavy loss with multi-level marketing companies hence why it is such a predatory scheme in my opinion. Let's kind of go over some of the products real quickly. So these are the products and again just looking at it I'm going to be honest with you here. I'm not trying to be disrespectful. I'm just being very open and honest with you here on my judgment on a product. I would say this about any other company that wasn't in an MLM. This literally reminds me of the shit that I would purchase. You know, like those little, what is it? Like mini vending machines at like those restaurants where you would have like those little rings and like a capsule and you'd stick like 25 to 50 cents in there, crank that bitch and get one out. That's exactly. That's what I think they all really look like. Starting at $19.95 is what you could be spending on collections like this, which I just, pricing for something like that just sounds very excessive. Of course, they have other things like necklaces and bracelets, which are cute. But again, this honestly gives me something that you would find at a random little gift shop at like a Disney store. You know what I mean? Like more kid friendly pieces. This doesn't look like something that most people would want or actually want to receive in an attainable way. And again, some of the products, in my opinion, I think are a little bit of fillers for a lot of these MLM companies, because in order to make it to where you don't look like a pyramid scheme up front from the get go, you need to have a product. Now, if they have products, then it's easier to get away with running a company 
company like an MLM, even though it's being run as a pyramid scheme. Now, I wanna tell you the definition of a pyramid scheme because I know some people might be watching this that are part of this MLM or maybe not yet and it, they do join. And I wanna share some information because I think it's really important for people to look at their own companies or companies that they wanna join and see if they are following the category that pyramid schemes are. So this is a chart I really love to share frequently that is talking about pyramid schemes and what will be represented with a lot of pyramid schemes. And so one of the biggest things that I wanna say though is a company does not have to have no products in order for it to be strictly a pyramid scheme. You can be a company that has no products and be a pyramid scheme 100%. But you can also be a company that has and sells products. However, their main income source is actually recruiting people into the MLM or the system as a whole and not actually retail customers. And that's what we actually find. And what I found most of the time with these companies is their main money maker is not necessarily retail, but people that are inside of the MLM, which is a cult and pyramid scheme. <laughs> Now let's talk about parties. So if you guys don't know, there's MLMs where they host parties and live parties. This is still kind of an older concept, I would say, but the idea of having a party and getting people together and selling these products is still alive and well. So this is where they talk about parties. So at a bomb party is what they call it, we mix sparkle and fizzy fun into a virtual soiree. Sprinkle in the elements of surprise and it's pure magic. See for yourself by joining one of our party reps, live parties on social media. Get real time reveals of custom handcrafted jewelry that is absolutely gorgeous and incredibly affordable. Our rings, necklaces, and earrings start at just $20 and retail up to 1,500. Goodness gracious, who can resist? You are invited and we mean everyone. So I actually wanna talk about this because I think the party concept is fascinating, but this to me is a scream money pit. Now, here's why. So with people at MLMs, of course, you have to purchase a starter kit or pay something in order to join the company. And with that, though, you need to purchase products as they launch because most of the time you want to keep purchasing so you can have a product to talk about. Now, this is a very specific product, and I think it's brilliant for the MLM CEO and creators to do this because this is more guaranteed money for them. But for you, it's a problem. So if I have a bath bomb, right, and if I need to consistently show off bath bombs in my inventory, I I am consistently using those a lot. It's not like, for example, this nail file is working on that. It's not like I can use this for a while and show this consistently. You use that one product and then you're done with the fun excitement of the fizzy party and the fizzy reveal. So many people will end up, from what I can see, continuously purchasing these types of little fizz bombs in order to have continuous live parties with fizz reveals because it looks cool, it's fascinating, and it's, a, again, people love reveals. And with that though, that's gonna come at a really high cost. And when majority of the people in multi-level marketing companies do not make absolutely anything Thing that is a super huge red flag because more than likely then people are actually gonna be shoveling out way more money than what they're making. And what's even worse about this too is if you do, and again, I'm trying to understand this a little bit better, but if you were able to purchase a ring or from a collection, but you don't know exactly what piece you're getting, I still feel like that's kind of weird and uncustomizable because if you want fun, pretty jewelry and you're particular on your styles, the tone of the jewelry, the color of the stones, etc., it sounds like such a waste of money for you to buy a little fizzy bomb or whatever you wanna call it and get a ring and you might not even like it when you're done. This literally sounds like an exact money pip. So now let's actually talk about the party reps or the party reps or bombshells as we like to call it. Now we're gonna be touching into the business opportunity with this, which I really want to discuss. Now, in order to become a party rep, there's a lot of information about the business opportunity. Now, again, I understand that some people do want to purchase products from an MLM. Not every company is completely ethical. I understand that. My biggest danger and red flag with this, though, is the MLM side. Let's talk about the bombshells or party rep as they like to be called. So this is the business opportunity that is marketed off that I think is the biggest predatory aspect of this company as a whole. We're gonna talk about the compensation plan, income disclosure statements, and other details about this and why I think that this is a total scam. First off, it says, why become a party rep? The fun starts here. Gorgeous jewelry is just the beginning. We run a fizzy fun that rushes surprise that sets bomb parties apart. It's why boss babes and bows join our big Southern family and what makes it so easy to get started earning and enjoy early success. One thing I would like to say too, that is a big red flag. And again, I will be posting up this chart as I'm reading things off and editing and noticing a red flag is if I have a red flag on the chart, that means, hi, I think this part is being represented in the website, which are the examples and things that you can find in a pyramid scheme according to the FTC. Now, I think that they're already having a very interesting perspective and it sounds like they're making promises for success. That doesn't sound very 
very realistic, but it says get paid to party. The more you do, the more your potential paycheck. So whether you're looking for a side hustle or your next chapter, if you simply have a thing for bling, a bomb party business is the fun way to make extra money and make friends who love to party just as much as you do. More income, flexibility, freedom, family time, and your bomb party business lets you party at your pace. Majority of that actually is very false and again, very misleading because most people do not make more income whatsoever. There is not a lot of flexibility or freedom in there, especially when you have to absolutely bust your ass in order to get even a remote, remote chance of making any money in this. So, you know. And if you host live events too, you are gonna have to have a looks like consistent inventory coming in for you to use to show off. And so with that, I do truly believe it's going to be a money pit, which is a huge red flag. Of course, over here it says, enjoy the extras. Incentive trips, leader retreats, our annual bomb party, family reunion, our party reps love to travel and we love to pamper with getaways galore. I'm showing you this because this is what they're marketing off. They're marketing off time freedom. They're saying that you can get a bunch of incentives. They're saying how you can have flexibility, time freedom, and extra money. Let's start debunking all of that by starting with the compensation plan. So let's talk about how they say ways to earn, which again is why most people join this company, how to earn money. This says to be successful right from the start, you need to keep things simple and start with the most basic part of your business, getting paid to party, host parties and start selling party bomb products. Okay. But then the next thing is as your business grows, you should begin dedicating more and more time to finding enthusiastic, like-minded people to join your team. That honestly should not be one of your biggest focuses in order to be successful. So it's funny how that is one of their big focuses right now. Yes, selling products, but when they're going on about how oh, well, in order to keep going and have everything else grow for you, you need to recruit people. That is a big red flag. So let's talk about some of the bonuses with this company. So I, one of the biggest things I think is also important to highlight is whenever they talk about how they earn money, look at the bonuses and how you have to earn them. Because if majority of the bonuses are actually showing that you need to have a team or a downline to receive those bonuses and have any remote chance of money, that is a huge red flag. If 70% or more of their bonuses about recruitment and the other ladder is about sales, that is a huge red flag. Going at the bottom of the chart, it's and I think it's smart that they do this. It shows how you're focused on selling according to this chart versus team building. How this says once you get bigger in the company or if you want to, you have even more of a focus of recruitment. So again, it clearly shows the need for recruitment to hit these ranks and grow well, but then it also shows how high recruitment is in this company as a whole. I would like to vocalize this. It talks about leadership, team building, and selling. This is why it's bullshit. Being a leader of a team and then team building are the same thing, okay? That is identical. So they have to switch the colors because they wanna give you the illusion that they do have a big focus on selling and no, it's not all about recruiting. But when most of your pie charts are literally clearly showing your focus and emphasis on recruiting and being a team leader instead of actual sales, that is a red flag, that is a huge problem. Again, another thing I would like to vocalize is, is if you look at most people on the top of a company or top of any MLM for that matter, most of the time they always have a downline. You cannot find top leaders that don't have a downline because because it is impossible majority of the time, or they aren't even allowed to rank up without a downline because those are the requirements to grow in the company. Now, again, I would also like to add how majority of people do not even make any money, nor do they hit most of these ranks. So this is also exceptionally unattainable for most people in general, but for the people who are at the top, the less than 1% or around 1%, they are the ones making so much money while majority of the people down underneath you are not making anything but providing a ton for that uplines paycheck. So with this compensation plan, this is simply just showing me that there is a major dependency on recruitment. And while yes, I do believe that they are really making adjustments to give the illusion that it's not, it's pretty obvious when you actually start diving into it right now. And I think that's a super duper huge red flag on this part. Let's talk about the actual income disclosure statement according to the individual company. So this company does not actually have an income disclosure statement and that is a huge, huge red flag. So income disclosure statements are pretty much a statement that an MLM can can put out. They aren't usually legally required to in the US. This is how much that most people can expect to make, or this is how much most of our promoters make in general. And the biggest problem with that is across the board, most MLMs replicate the data that we've seen from the FTC, stating that most people don't make any money or if anything, lose it. And so with that though, we see majority of people at the lower ranks hardly making anything. Now, one of the biggest red flags I would like to tell you is if a company is not willing to be completely and utterly transparent with their numbers, then they are very, very misleading and a big red flag in my opinion.
opinion. This company does not have an income disclosure statement and they've been out for a while so they absolutely have the capacity to pull those numbers and data, but clearly it looks like they choose not to, which in my opinion is hiding actual truth and information. Because if they want you to make an educated decision, they would share information like this. And then also they would share the actual income chances along with that. So with what we have so far with this business opportunity, we have um, shitty quality jewelry in my opinion. We have a pretty good dependency on recruitment, which is a huge red flag. And then we also have it to where most people don't make any money in this. So what are the other possible benefits that you can get? Let's talk about the incentive trips that they were just discussing. So the incentive trips are something that they will discuss with traveling. And this is why they're also a huge money hole. So what we notice most of the time with MLM travel trips is not everything is free as they like to claim. So one of the things I can talk about is Monet, for example, to give you a good visual. So Monet will host actual events and trips that you can earn. The problem is, is the qualification period, I have really big high qualifications. The point of where a lot of people, I have seen patterns of, because they don't wanna miss out, because they don't wanna look like a failure, they end up shoveling out a lot of money in order to attend these incentive trips. The problem is though, is that's super duper expensive and you end up shoveling out way more money in order to quote unquote fake earn this trip than you would have if you originally just bought this trip in general. But because in order to show your success and to get people interested in joining you, it's really important to hold up this look and lifestyle. So that's what many people across the board and MLMs do. And so another problem with this is not all of the incentive trips are actually free. There's sometimes they can range from a couple, like about three tiers is usually what they mean in qualifications. So you can hit the first one and sometimes you get hotel and the stay covered, but you don't get flights. Then the next one, you might get flights covered. The next one, you might get flights and other bonus is because you're such a big leader. But most of the time, it's pretty expensive. And additionally, one thing that they never tell you is you actually have to pay taxes on that trip. So whatever they spend on you, that goes on your 1099. You have to pay taxes on the trip that you go on that's quote unquote free. That's not very free, mind you, but they don't tell you this kind of stuff. And another problem that I have is the conventions. The conventions are honestly a huge money pit as well, but there's a lot of pressure to attend those conventions by many MLMs. The conventions are a way and a yearly way to get people interested in the opportunity. They're able to talk about their accomplishments, highlight top leaders, and sell new products that are coming out and instill new belief into people so that way they can run their business. The problem is, is it honestly is a very culty experience because one, the pressure to go is high. Two, this is not in any way covered, so people have to spend money on flights, driving, food, hotels, whatever the case may be, which is expensive. Not to mention, if you're not making any money in the MLM, you're pulling that from your own original paycheck that you had before joining the MLM. So therefore also, you have to probably purchase the products that are launched during a new convention because every MLM Connect convention shows products and you have to purchase them because you can't really talk about them if you don't have them to begin with and have the brand new. And then of course, because most people that are attending the convention aren't making any money, there's all these personal speakers and self-development gurus that tell you that you just have to keep pushing along. And at the end of the day, it is a toxic culty cycle of you having this dream belief that you can have an incredible living or even make simply gas money from this when most of the time you were actually spending way more money than you are making to begin with. And this is why I literally hate MLMs because this is the stuff that they do is they prey on people and their dream for having financial freedom or prey on the aspect of even just being able to pay for an extra bill or two just by this income when that's sadly not the case for most of it. So when you see someone who's a bomb party rep or a live or you see someone that says that their life has been totally changed think about it a little bit and wonder one are they someone who's just simply stating that because they want to recruit you and not because their life has been changed for the better or two are they a top leader who knows as well that if they recruit you and get you to believe their bullshit they get a better paycheck while you lose money this is just a really messed up cycle and i do not agree with any of these companies whatsoever and that is why i make the content that i do because it's so important for people to be aware and have content like this to share that's easily accessible, easily digestible, and people can actually see what goes on behind scenes. Now again, that doesn't really touch anything like Zoom trainings and other culty things that do go on in MLMs or in a company like this, but if anyone has any information or any Zoom trainings or behind the scenes work that goes on with this MLM, please forward it to me. My email is in the description below because I would love to react more because that's also how I expose the actual dark secrets behind MLMs as well. That was my little deep dive about this MLM. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and hopefully you can, in my opinion stay away from this damn company so that was it for today's video thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to the channel and i will see you guys in the next video stay glowing my beautiful queens love you bye